Hey everyone, I'm Rochelle the Jamaican Vegan and today we're going to be doing barbecue veggie chunks and I'm going to serve that with coconut cream mashed potatoes. Now so many persons have told me that they don't like veggie chunks. I feel like it's just how it's prepared. So today I'm going to be showing you how I season and prepare my veggie chunks and I promise it's going to be amazing. Stay tuned, you'll want to try it once we're done. Alright, so we're going to move on now to our veggie chunks. There is a trick with veggie chunks. I'm going to show it to you. Lots of persons said I don't like it. It doesn't have any flavor. It's not nice. Well, the thing about it is, as usual, how we prepare it. So, just gonna pour it. Remember, it was, it's gonna swell, so it's gonna be a lot more than this. You don't want to cook too much. Always put more water in it to cover it because we're going to soak it. Okay. A little vinegar. And we're going to leave it until it's soft. Some persons boil it at this point. You can do that. You can put, pop it in the microwave, pour hot water on it, whichever way that works best for you. So while this is done, we're going to leave this to soak. We're going to prepare our seasoning. So for our veggie chunks, we're not going to make the bits of seasoning as small. What does it need to be? So I'm cutting the little pieces than I would for the tofu scramble or anything else like that. Or fritters, that kind of thing. Same thing for my onion. Just in nice circles. My bell pepper is gonna be in strips. Still pretty thin. Garlic and olive oil. This is member selection brand. That's the one I use. And uh, we're gonna move on now to get our veggie chunks. I was soaking for a while, so it'll be nice and ready to season. Let me show you how. So once it's done soaking, it's gonna look like. So I'm going to rinse it, this is what we're trying to do, so it's going to have a, almost, it's going to be a little bit if we leave it, we we'll try to cook it like this. So we're going to rinse, squeeze, drain all of what will be in there and then we can add our, our own season. So I'm going to show you all of that. Alright, so here we go. Take it up and I'm gonna squeeze. Squeeze, 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 
this way. Always use the sauce. So we're going to leave this because we're going to, it's going to take a, a little while to boil. So you don't have to worry about leaving it for the flavors to get in it. It will during the cooking process. So we're going to move this over now to our pot. Alright, so now I'm going to cook up everything in this pot. I usually leave back a bit of uh, the seasoning for closer to when it's it's almost done. And then we're just gonna add our water and leave it to boil. I'm gonna make the sauce while this is boiling, I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce. Let's just put this on the stove, cover it, and move on to our next step. Right now, now, I normally add a lot of things to my barbecue sauce, but I've never tried this sauce. I don't think I'm going to have to do too much to it. Let's give it a fair try. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Oh. So let's add some more to the sauce. And it's a bit more dry. So it's not very thick, so I don't need to add any more water. We're gonna do a quick check on our vegetables. Yep, that is pretty much ready. So now it's time for the barbecue sauce. I took the peppers out already because I didn't want it too hot. So now I'm just all done. And add our barbecue sauce. Alright, now we're gonna leave that for about five minutes just to get the flavors in. Final check for our veggie chunks. Yep, that's done. 
nice and soft. All right, so that was it. Really simple, really nice. I'm gonna show you a picture of the finished product. I just added some carrot strips to it. I decided to get a little fancy, a little fancy. So go ahead, look at that picture, and then we're gonna come back and taste it. Okay. Alright, so that was really, really good. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you decide to give it a try, let me know in the comments if you like it. Or you can always DM me on Instagram. It's at the Jamaican Vegan. Let me know. The links for all that will be down below. So just let me know how you felt about it. Do you like the video? What else should I make? Thanks for watching. See you next time.